So, uh, yeah, that's about right. Lovely. Hello. Here we go, thank you. You're working your way to get Boo's voice exactly right. We'll soon have it right, I'm pretty sure about that. I'm not going on until I've had a story. I'm not going on. But that's just the way it is. I've never been able to stop. So, uh, this is our first um, B Day free red camera test, and we're uh, shooting at 25 frames a second. And now he's doing the voice. So, because seeing these things back, even though they're just sort of early days rehearsal, is really important. Of course, it is. The roof is a journalist. The roof is a quivering wreck in the corner right now, isn't it? Yeah, poor little thing. Thank you very much. Okay. How are we doing on this frame? Does it seem to be making too much difference about the angle for reflection, so it seems to be alright. Yeah, all of this is pretty clear. Okay, here we go. And action. Introduce the character and the idea of Bookaboo um, to people involved in the production, like yesterday we did the sound man. I uh, talked to him and, and the lighting director, yeah, I, we spoke to him. Lighting cameraman. Yeah. 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 Or even the yeah. Rigger's area. Cutting, because if you're tracking right and then you get into the well, sort of single shot and you want to track left. Enter <laughs> <laughs> here is busy working away. Beavering. Call it the couch or sofa. Sofa, it's been named as. Oh, is it? I'm gonna get you lycra for the hole. Did you make yourself a little cat suit? No. What happened was. We're all looking forward to seeing Meatloaf. Yeah, and I changed that to it's only the great meat legend Rockloaf. Rock and roll, man. I have to remember to do that little scrunch up. <laughs> And this here is the incredible Ian Eames. Matty Clay. I'm very excited about Ian Eames because he directed The Yob, probably the greatest comic strip ever produced. Yeah, the only problem is I can't actually do all of it myself. I'd love to, but, you know. It's having to. I have to collaborate. Collaborate. Bookaboo. I have to collaborate. Yeah, he, he simply does not like collaborating. No, I love collaborating. But um, sometimes I feel I'd like more people to collaborate with actually Bookaboo, and that's one of the problems. You never have enough people. Yes. Yeah, you never have enough helpers. You never have enough helpers, do you? No, I never do. In fact, I was thinking in between all this hanging around that you're doing, would yes. you mind giving us a hand doing your set? Or are you just like such a big star that you wouldn't think of it? Oh, oi, I've been chipping in, I have. I've been chipping in, I've been helping. Remember that the first line is, is more like, yeah, it's, it's up to the top. Proper fun, yeah. You're going to love it. Just one here, mate. Just that shadow back door. He's mad cool, man. You're waking up to involve. Probably frame, reframing for that. Tighter frame. What time is it? Um, it's one o'clock now. Oh, we should break the lunch then. Yeah, so we're coming back to. Hanging <laughs> 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 on the wall called a Billy and Charlie. They are um, sort of horse brass things, yeah. which were made by itinerant but ingenious mud rakers. Oh, really? And they're base metal and they made them as a little thing and they scattered them all over the country. So people find them in their gardens or wherever. And they bring up and say, I found this thing, it's got a Viking's head on it. They're called Billy Charles. Billy and Charlie, your dad's a man, okay? <laughs> so you listen from now on, because you might think you know what's best, but he knows what's best. Yeah. If you don't believe him, I'll have to come round and prove why he's best. <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> Bookaboo.
On danse! Parce que ce que je comprends du multi-clip, il faut qu'il soit le plus possible une track. I've got a bunch of web series. Several places at the same time. Yeah, you oh can God. do that. What I just did it. We call it déjà vu. Déjà vu. It's a sort of improvised crane. <laughs> you having a fun time? Yes, I am. Yeah. What are you doing now? I'm just taking, taking a photos. So I can put it on uh, YouTube. Yeah. Are you there? Action. All I do is lure that pesky Billy Bob Beaver to this spot using this old drumstick hmm, as bait. Look at me! Am I right in thinking that you need a story a day or you just can't play? My new beaver trap! <laughs> to bad beaver jail! Where they'll show him how to be a good beaver. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, cause I'll do anything for the greatest. Yeah. <laughs> I'm interviewing the surrealist artist, Rob. Uh, morning, Rob. That this... I am a cipher, a kind of metaphor. I'm not, I don't actually exist, but I am just this entity that mirrors or stands beside events as they unfurl. I reflect those events, which means that I'm not actually real, which means that I am a surreal icon. It was at that point that Ian e Eames started to become difficult. So I chatted to our Canadian director, Rob Mills, as I used up the last minute on my tape. So, uh, uh, Good morning, Rob. Are you looking forward to your first day of directing? Is it? Josiane <laughs> oh. oh. organises everything. Uh, there's a strange man over there in a hat. Would help get you in the mood. I did! For you, Michel. Bonjour. Bonjour. Ah, salut. Salut. See, when you come from Birmingham, your directing instructions are usually fairly basic, like faster, bigger, louder, nothing really... As soon as we're in like post position, we roll the camera up, please. Or be more obtuse, it's always shorter, longer. Let's, let's see a rehearsal before we decide. This will all look absolutely marvellous on camera, honestly. It's not. Mm. It will look absolutely brilliant. You don't see it, apparently. No, right on the edge, right on the edge. Oh, That's odd. That. Because okay. I'm all right, right on ready? the edge at the moment. I never saw him after that. Chantelle. She pretends to be the focus puller. Bonjour. The rest of it, yep. actually. Okay. Watch out. We'll have a camera duel <laughs> later on. What kind of dogs are they, Danny? French Bulldog. Just trying to give up smoking. Control camera. Roll sound, please. He wrapped himself up. Okay. Who read to you when you were a child? Well, from uh, being a baby to the age of about three and a half, I lived in uh, Toronto with an adoptive family. I'm kind of an expert on keeping a positive attitude. I've got just the thing for you. Ooh. What's it called, Amy Jo? The talent show. Tough on crime police officer, Miss Tara Spencer Nan. Hello, officer. How can I help you? Silly, I'm not a real police officer. I just played one on television. Yeah, I don't believe her. I wonder what I've done. I know I should be on stage, officer. Bookaboo, really, I'm not a real police officer. Mm. Uh, okay, fine. And yes, Sonny, you should be on stage. Will you send me to the puppy pound? No, because this police, I mean, actress, has... This. Good boy! I was wasting your time trying. 
trying to cut cookies right came so unnaturally the basically sunset each side of the sea I'm seeping through your soaking pores you stitch the smile and it lit the stars it's colorful to think so true feeding on the pulse of up again the autumn moon spook you dead be able fools foolish to deliver that news paper cut kisses on a sunny afternoon pinky sealed promises you're only keeping 